I think if I can come up with a good caption to it, and if the picture is either funny or, I don't know. I, th I think there's, like, you can say there's objectively good pictures. As long as you personally like it, there's nothing that really restricts that. If I had a good time when the picture was taken, and if I appreciate the people in the picture, then I will post it. Sometimes you just want to share some, some amazing moments, some some fun times, right? You just want to, the, the party that you had with some of your friends. Or sometimes you just want to make yourself look good, I think. I think it also depends on how you want other people to see you. Like there are some people who are very honest about what they post. They post pictures that are unedited or like on purpose show that they don't look perfect. And a lot of people um, just, you know, put on extra makeup before they post or make themselves look skinnier or taller or whatever they want to enhance. For sure, for sure. Like, I'm not going to say that I'm not one of them. Like, I, I sit down and consider and be like, oh, what would people think if they saw this picture? And then I come up to a point where, like, I see the picture too much and I don't like it myself then. And then I'm like, oh, if I don't like it, then people will not like it. So it's it's a whole process of you just thinking and trying to, like, brainstorm what other people might think as well. So Yes, yeah, stories are meant to be more... You don't want it to be permanent, so that's why you put it in the story. So it's something like on the spot, something on the moment. But if it's like a pose and it's going to be like there, I mean, you still can archive it, but it will be there eventually. I don't know. This is like sub subcontext, maybe. We don't really think about these things, but I'd say that when you make a post to something more formal, because it's going to stay in your timeline, a story is just something that's going to disappear. If you're just hanging out with friends and you want to tell other friends that you're hanging out with them, you just post a story. And for the post, it would normally be like a picture of yourself and you with your friends. But I would say something more permanent, something that has meaning. The actual post I post is a bit more serious in a sense because I feel like people are going to see it for a bit longer. Of course, the internet never forgets. So like, I feel like people put much more thought on a post than a story. Yeah, majority of them, yeah. No, God, no. Uh, it's one of those, like, I've seen friends post photos of a party, and it was literally the same party someone went into cardiac arrest at. Uh, yes, I'd say there is some honesty. Maybe because I choose honest friends. Maybe not. Uh, usually people just post that uh, post that they want us to see. And it's mostly always the good things about them, not, not the bad things. Or, like, the things that they... I uh, want others to see like the parties they've had or the friends they've hang out with. There are a lot of angles of one person. So like in Instagram, you can just see the angle that they want you to see. Mm, I mean, everyone probably would like to uh, at least pretend they have this perfect life. In fact, Elon Musk in one of his uh, interviews said the same thing that mo or most of the things we see on Instagram are very far fetched from reality, which is why he's one of those people who inspired his followers not to use the platform. I guess everyone has different feelings about it. I mean, we, it, at the end of the day, it depends on us how we go about it, you know? I, a, a little bit too much of me, to be, if I'm being honest. Like, my first Insta post was literally just an inside joke that I have with, with my friends. <laughs> so if ever, anybody were to follow me on Insta, they would just be completely confused. Yeah. I, especially in my story, you can see how a bit weird I am sometimes. In a way, yes. Uh, I think I'd like to post a lot more... Uh, less quality pictures i'd say i i know some people who had it, edit pictures like crazy and you can't even like recognize them and you're like who's that when you like see them in real life for the first time you don't even realize it's the same person i um i used to be a person who used to hide a lot of stuff on social media like i was one of the people that i criticized like five minutes ago pretending to be someone else just so that i can be a people's pleaser like i want to please myself first and then I don't, I don't really care if people like it or not. Like, this is me, like, just accept me. And I'd prefer to do that, actually. So it, to an extent, yes, it does show who I am, but to an extent, not to the extent that I wish to. It's a big influence, especially, well, this, how much time do you have? <laughs> we are uh, kind of like a small, but very well-connected community. If you want to find your friends, just go open Snapchat and you go to the map and see where everyone is and just like hang out there. To like meet people, easy to meet up and like these times as well. And do you think that helps the Jacobs community? Um, well, considering our circumstances, yes. Um, it was good to use platforms like this because it kept us connected. It has increased in usage because we are mostly in our rooms now rather than gathering up and socializing because of the certain corona rules.
Personally, I think it really impacts mentality. People usually post about the parties they've been to on campus or like the friends they've hang out with. Um, yeah, it does not truly display, I think, the, the life of Jacob students, right? Um, because they don't post pictures when they, I don't know, are sitting in their room and they're depressed about finals or whatever. So it's one of those, some people just have a strong will and they're able to see everyone at their highest point and not be affected. But personally, I'm not that strong. So it's just one of those, I knew what was best for me and I did what I had to do. There are people that it would affect really, really drastically and there are people that it wouldn't affect at all. I am definitely happier without social media. It's such a burden, like life was way easier, I assume, like without social media. Whenever I go on holiday and I don't use my phone for like 10 days, I just feel healthier and better. Due to the fact that we're comparing ourselves to sort of the, the top 10% of what's going on in other people's lives, all in all, it's sort of diminishing our happiness. The good thing of social media disappearing is like, you don't get to look into other people's good life, you just know the person like as a whole. No, I wouldn't say that. It's about more someone's perspective into life and how they take it. In my opinion, most people will be like sad because they lost the ability to show themselves off, you know, online. People, life without social media is unimaginable. I don't know, a lot of people would lose their jobs <laughs> as influencers. For us, it would just also be very confusing because I think everybody uses social media, everybody's on social media. At some point they keep tabs on like the lives of celebrities and other more than their own lives. My hobbies, for example, I enjoy them more than social media, but social media is just a time filler that I also do enjoy. Some of the more socially outgoing and extroverts would actually do better with it because they have that connection to people right away. A life with some kind of like a break of social media is definitely worth it for me. I feel like with social media disappearing, we'll understand that we are leading a normal life. So we don't have to compare ourselves to anybody else. So yeah. Well, thank you. That was the final question. Thank you so much. Hi, no thank problem. You. Really appreciate See it. You. Was that it? Okay. Yeah, that it. Really good. Really good. Thank like you. That, that was really good. Thank you, Arin. Nice. I love thank it. You. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Anytime. You guys have a good day. Thank you very much for, thank you. for the thoughts and everything. Thank you. I like it. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>